Hey, it's me, Bob Jokel with Hunt Real Estate. Well, as part of my uh, New Year's resolution for 2024, aside from providing uh, the home market uh, numbers for Onondaga County every month, uh, I'm also going to break it down by school district. I'm, I'll do a separate report for each school district. And uh, because those numbers, uh, if you're living in a particular school district or you want to buy in a particular school district, those numbers were, are probably much more significant to you because uh, they're more specific to the area. Uh, what happens on one end of the county isn't necessarily what happens on the other end of the county. The numbers can vary quite a bit. So let's talk about the Fayetteville Manlius School District, home of the Hornets. Uh, new listings for 2023 were down 3.6%, 325 versus 337. Penny sales were down 6.1%, 260 versus 277. Close sales were down 16.9%, 250 versus 301. Uh, now, a, a lot of that is because of the lack of inventory uh, based on the number of buyers that are out there. There's still more buyers out there than there are homes for sale despite the rise in interest rates. Uh, days on the market until the house goes on the contract was down 5.6%, 17 days versus 18 days. Uh, that's an insignificant number. Homes are still selling very, very quickly are going under contract way in way less than 30 days from when the house goes on the market. Uh, the median sale price was up 12.9%. That's $388,000 versus $343,700. The average price was up 13.7%. Uh, that's $424,709 versus $373,000. $600. So again, you know, with product of supply and demand, uh, prices are, are continuing to rise uh, as long as there's more buyers out there than there are homes for sale. Uh, and that's further illustrated by the percent of list price received, which is the ratio uh, of the actual price that was paid for a home versus the asking price. Uh, it was up a half a percent, so 104.2% versus 103.7%. So homes are still selling for significantly above full asking price. There's still, you know, buyer competition for the number of homes that are out there. Now the month end numbers in these next two categories for December uh, may be an indication of what we can start to expect in January. Uh, the uh, inventory of homes for sale at the end of the month of December was flat. 31 versus 31, so the inventory is not going up yet. Uh, the month supply of inventory, which is the amount of time it takes to sell out the number of listings we have right now, uh, went up 7.7%, 1.4 months worth of inventory versus 1.3 months worth of inventory. Uh, that, that's really an insignificant increase. Um, you know, it, it's, it takes, it's taken way less than two months to sell out the inventory we have uh, on average right now, which is still a seller's market. Uh, when we get into four to six months worth of inventory, that's a balanced market. Then, we, then we'll see things more into balance, but right now it's still a strong seller's market. Uh, so I hope these numbers were helpful to you. Uh, if you know anybody who's looking to buy or sell in the, in the uh, FM school district, please reach out to me. Uh, I hope to hear from you, and I'll see you soon. Have a great day.